Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, another look of the week. Last week, I asked for your suggestions. What look can we do or what look do you want me to do? And one of my friends sent me this photo. So this look is inspired to that one, which is kind of like more of a purpley, nude lips, very contoured face, and yeah. But hers is kind of like more pinky on transition and on the lower lash. I want to do it more realistic, something that I can really wear every day because I cannot wear that to work. I feel like it's too loud for me. And if you want to know how I do it, then just keep on watching. Let's start by priming our face and the primer that I am using is the Glow Enhancing Primer from Shiseido. Because the foundation that we are going to use today is a matte foundation from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Stay Fresh Foundation so that it will balance out the matte finish of the foundation and then the primer will give you a glow. Since a lot of you are asking why I don't use a beauty sponge, to apply my foundation so today that's what we are going to do not that I don't like using a sponge but because I'm already used to using my foundation brush I feel like with foundation brush I get the coverage that I wanted and the finish and like no streak marks at all I know this sounds funny but yeah and for my concealer I'm going to use the Beyond Perfecting Concealer from Clinique again mixing these two very fair and medium shade Last time what I did is I put the very fair first and when I'm watching my video, it doesn't look good. Like my under eye looks so white. That's why today I'm going to mix it on the back of my hand and then apply it instead of applying one shade after the other. And this is my choice of face palette today and to set our face, I am going to take this yellow powder. And then I'm going to set my eyelid as well using just a white matte shade. Okay, for our bronzer, I'm going to mix this two shade. I'm gonna be a little bit intense on my contour. For my blush, I'm going to use this rosy pink shade. For the blush, remember not to put too much. Do not go overboard. For our transition shade, I'm going to use this dark bronze shade. I am just applying that dark bronze on the upper crease. If you have bronzers or contour shade that is like a warm tone, then you can use that one as your transition shade. And then I'm going to get my blush because I want to give that pink transition effect. So we are going to get that pink shade and apply on top of the dark bronze. And then I have a two sets of purple in here. Thanks. <laughs> this light one, we will use that into the crease. And this a little bit like reddish purple, we will use that on our outer corner. So what I'm doing is I'm not putting too much pressure on my brush. Just giving it a light hand. Okay. I'm just following the shape of my eye socket and doing back and forth, back and forth. Using a smaller brush, I'm going to use this reddish purple, kind of like a plum color, and then apply that on our outer corner. So I just get this pearly white shimmer shade and then apply that on my inner corner or inner lid. And then I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Eyeliner because I want to create a smudgy wing liner. So, so what I do is just like how we normally put our eyeliner, I draw a wing first. It's okay if it does look messy because we are going to smudge that later. And what I do is I stop in here where the shimmer ends. Ha <laughs> 
<clears throat> I just applied my false lashes off cam and now we move on to highlighter and for our highlight we are going to mix these two And to finish this look, I'm going to use a nude lipstick. I know, but it's your request, so I'm gonna give it to you. So I'm going to line my lips first using um, Elizabeth Arden Lip Liner in the shade Natural. And I'm going to use the Dior Addict Fluid Stick in the shade 499. And that's it for the final look guys. Another colorful eye makeup na naman. <laughs> so if there's any look guys that you want me to do, don't forget to message me or tag me on my Instagram account, Got Tinted. And don't forget to like my Facebook page, Got Tinted by Christine Dizon. And leave a comment down below what do you think of this look. And share this to your friends. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye!